Yeah, those salts really worked, huh? Ooh. Now, this is cozy for a library. Where's all the chairs and stuff? There is an inscription. A model of the summer stone, designed by student Aveline Irigard. Or Eveline Irigard. The stone, discovered by members of the coven in 528, is of unknown origin. Five meters in diameter, the stone emits a powerful, comforting energy. The priceless artifact is located inside of Ekenfell's Spirit Oval. Visitors and first-year students must make appointments to see the stone. Ooh, this stone might be of some importance, don't you think? Possibly. I be. bet we have to go kill it. Oh no! Look at all these books! These are the bor borrowing records. There's a lot. This might take a while. Hmm. Sure. Uh, are you alright, Merit? So, neither of you knew Safina had a sister? She never mentioned me? Even once? Uh, maybe she's embarrassed by me. Uh, whatever. Let's just get reading. Chapter 3. Bitter Rivals. Ah, it's the glass lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if we're like some weird alt Safina? That could be the case. Ah! I think I found it. The spell? No, but I believe I know where to find it. Hey, sleepyhead, get up. What did you find? Her borrowing record is, uh, sketchy as you'd expect. But one thing stands out. She borrowed a book called Adelheid's Jinxes and Wards. It should be on that shelf behind you. Hmm. Here it is! Oh, this... This is a really old book! What? This dusty old thing stands out like a sore thumb. How have I not noticed it before? Oh, come now. You can't know every single book in here. I wouldn't put it past him. He spends more time inside the library than outside of it. Hmm. This makes no sense. Hmm? What is it? The date on the book, it's marked 833. <laughs> so it was published, what, 300 years from now? Ridiculous. Maybe it's a mistake. Wait, is this book supposed to be from the future? Possibly, yeah. From now, as opposed to before now. Either that or it completely predates our calendar system. That makes this an extremely rare book. Definitely not something to be found in the common study hall. Uh, maybe it's a prank. It looks legitimate. It's quite the elaborate and specific prank if it is. Or maybe it's from another world, or another timeline, or who knows what. Here, check out this page. This looks like the barrier on Safina's door. Huh, I think you're right. It's not heart shaped, but I bet Safina made that change herself. I don't understand the symbols. Does it say how to bust it? Every spell can be countered if you know what you're doing, but this involves some alchemy, so it's tricky for me. You're the alchemist now. Any ideas? Hmm. Ah! Oh, wait! Right here! The homunculus symbol in the rune pattern. Well spotted. I think we can break it. 
A homunculus. So is, is, do you think there's a creature at the door? Huh. Um, explanation for the ordinary over here? The homunculus is the symbol of the small human. It usually means you cast a spell with your body as a vessel. Oh. Instead of using a wand. Okay. So that means we'd need her body to uncast the spell as well? Yeah. You learn fast. So, you two don't see a hole in this plan at all? We don't have Safina. We probably don't need her. Magic isn't mathematics, Merit. It isn't exact. It can be tricked. Um, because she's the sister when the blood magic worked the previous mm -hmm. time? So we need to... Remember how you could tr trigger Saf's blood spell? It's kind of like that. We might b b be able to trick it into believing that you're Safina. But it won't be enough on your own. We'll have to dress you up in Safina's clothes. Huh? R really? You think that'll work? The hard part will be finding some of Saf's clothes. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Safina's hat! When I was trying to get in, I found her hat on the ground outside the wall. But someone got to it before I did and claimed it. Can you describe them? Hmm. Top hat, charcoal jacket, weird energy. I don't know what it means. I, I've seen a witch for 10 minutes. Or I've been a witch for 10 minutes. Oh, wait, wait. He just appears? Sounds like Fleur. But I hear she goes by Black Hat now. She's a traveler who comes up north from time to time. She used to upcycle our non-magical clothing into enchanted gear for us. But lately, everything she's enchanted has been hexed. Nobody knows why. I got a magic scarf from her my first f first year. It's still my favorite one. I c can't believe she's changed so much. How do we find her? She usually sets up shop near the old prison. Prison? Abandoned. Coven shut it down decades ago with the others. Owl places. It, it's haunted, so nobody goes out there. Black Hat's so scary now. Last time we saw her, she said to, to watch out or we'd get bowled over. Oof. That's a bad one. Anyway, I'm going to check it out. See what I can find. I'm coming too. I'm curious about all this now. Saf and I snuck out to see the prison once, so I know where it is. You coming along now? Uh, uh, I'm not staying here alone. I'll come. The prison's outside the school, so we'll have to leave the walls. We can open the gate from this side, so we won't need to take the passage. Is there a door down there on the left? There is, but it's blocked by books. Ah, uh, books, no. Dang books, kick them out of the way. Bam! Oh, we didn't see that tree before. Um, that wasn't here before. It's huge. And gray and dead looking. It, it's a traveler oak. Huh? read about these. They appear randomly, maybe once or twice a century. It's amazing. Books say they have a memory. They have memory. If you touch one, it'll remember you. You can travel between them by carrying just a single branch. Ooh, better get one then. The Traveler Oak imprints a memory of you and its roots. You can return here from any other Traveler Oak that you find. There are no other Traveler Oaks as of yet, though. So Fast travel. Yeah. I, I like that, though. That it's through oak trees. Is that the prison, though? No. 
We have to leave. I'm surprised he's isn't commenting on the frequency of their finding these oaks. Doors won't budge with the slime. So where is the prison then? It's not that big tower, right? Oh. We actually have a map? Wow. Hmm. So that's the village that's outside. Wait, is that the prison? The, the black building down there? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Because that's the forest that you came in with. There's also... There's also a creepy forest up to the north, but that's separate. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you can't go out that way? No, I think we might actually have, have to, to take go... the gate. There's a main gate. Oh, there's a gate. All this work just to get into Saf's silly school? And now we're already leaving. Prison isn't that far. We'll be back soon enough. Yeah, unfortunately. You really hate Ekenfell that much. No, it's not that. It's just... First, my sister was abducted. Then I find out that she was pretending I don't exist. It already hurt when I was rejected from her world for not having magic. But now that I'm here, I'm truly reminded of how much I don't belong. Merit. Huh. It's somewhere around here. Here we go. If I can just remember the spell. The hidden path. Oh, items. I guess let's go back real quick. You have seven hidden gems. You want to see what you can do? Ah! Ah! No reason Avoid for me those to fight birds. These birds. Well, oh, I'm well, stuck you with got... these ones. <laughs> Delete bird creatures. Yeah, having that auto win is nice for getting around just random mobs. Wish there was a button I could just press. Oh, hey. I don't know if we have we ever. Oh, there's a tree. That's good. So it's down there. That's where her shop is. Yep. But we don't have 10, so we can't get into the nice chest. Bone locket. Damages enemies adjacent to you. Oh, yeah, you wanted that one, didn't you? I was thinking about it, yeah. Because there's two types of. Yeah, it's the sparkly gems. Oh, the sparkly gem you need for the blue chest. Is that what it is? Oh, so yeah, if you find 10. Okay, got the bone locket. Oh, HP to adjacent allies. Is that only in critical condition, yeah. though? So that's. Not really that useful. When KO'd. Once from battle. Not that useful. Raises your movement by one. Eh. Eh. I think the rest of them weren't that interesting. Wait, what burns at the start of the turn? Just extra power for at the start of battle. Boost something when your HP is low. I'm not terribly keen on these. Also boost for eight when HP is low. What's that one? Wait. Use items at long distances. Uh, I'll buy that one. Mm -hmm. But even then... I don't really know if I care. So who would you equip with it? Who tends to be on the front lines? And would damage enemies?
I'll try it on him. Ah, flee the birds! Either it does a ton of damage or it's kind of pointless. My bet is on pretty pointless, but I'll try it anyway. Oh, something sparkling. Another rare gem. Hopefully there's another vendor that takes those. Ah! Is that a ball and chain? Yep. I mean, it's a prison. Mm-hmm. Two ball and chains. What a goofy critter. Animates really well, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know how they explain them. If magic just vivifies them, if they were always enchanted so that they had some sort of sentience so that they'd be better at doing their, well, fulfilling their tasks or their purpose. Or if they're just dissatisfied spirits that take over objects around the area where they lived or died. Yeah, I don't know. Just interesting. Ooh, these are tough suckers. Okay. Ouch! Now let's see, how much damage? No, yeah, that was only one damage there. Uh, it's three damage for the... For burn or whatever. Or for, you... No, the, the adjacent damage ability oh, that I just gave him. I see. It's... Okay. I, I can't say I'm terribly interested. Mm. Okay, good. I am poisoning the correct thing. I thought for a moment I was poisoning Merit, and I got a little worried. That wouldn't be good. Victory! What does it say on the outside? Northern lockup. I'll we can go back in. Northern lockup closed permanently by order of the coven. C creepy. This place sucks. Let's make this quick. What was that bar in the bottom left? It's skip. Which I didn't want to do. Hmm. Already replacing the bone locket? Yeah. Like, three damage is nice, but it's too situational for me. Oh. More rancid fruit and stuff. What's up, bounce boy? And some other slimes. Did you still want to fight, or did you just want to skip this? You know, honestly, the more we play, the more I'm kind of just like, yeah, I could probably skip. Because, like, the fights are fun. I'm just not sure if they're what I'm here for right now. And yeah, I, especially when the story is really cute. And yeah, we want to see what happens next. Because, like, I think the slowest part of this game is straight up the combat. Ow. Not that the combat is bad, but the... I almost wish this game was just full visual novel. Now, would your opinion be different if you hadn't been given the option to skip battles? Or do you like the fact that it has been given to you, therefore you are inc more inclined to use it? Do you it, know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I think because that option there, I, I am more tempted. I... I actually have this problem that at some point, eventually, we will play Dot Hack GU. Mm. And that game has a story mode which just makes you goof strong so you can just float through the game and just beat it. If it was a visual novel, would you have played it? Hell yeah! It's a visual novel. Oh! Um, Pyre. Hated the battles in Pyre. Loved the actual visual novel aspects to it. Uh, that... I wouldn't...
wouldn't mind if we actually tried playing visual novels more often. Also, it's I would just they're all dating related. I would say that of the time. Phoenix Wright, for all intents and purposes, is it, more visual novel. Well, yeah, Phoenix Wright absolutely is a visual novel. And sure, it's got gameplay, but ultimately, the gameplay is just choosing what evidence you need in a particular situation. Mm hmm. Here, how about this? New rule, we fight every monster once. Right. Like, that's what I thought that you were doing. Well, I was that fighting something... every monster group once. So if we went back to fight more. Right, but you fought slimes with the fallen chains a couple times now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'd like to see what each monster has in store for design's sake, but if they're just going to be minions that we've... You aren't going for the chests? Locked. Oh, they're chat locked ones. Okay. And I'll definitely fight the bosses. Mm-hmm. You got a cell key. Yep. The dark, dark cell, cell key. key. There we go. So what's the penalty for instant victory? There is no penalty. Apart from like, I guess, a detachment from the game mechanics. But like, I think I get more detached from fighting everything constantly. I love the fact that they gave us this option. It feels actually pretty good. Ooh, look, another ghost. That witch hat's been acting strange. She's got lots of tricks up her sleeve, so I hope you're prepared. Hard nut. <laughs> look like there's anything new. What's that box next to him, or is that just his wares? Yeah, it's just his wares. Why are you going back in? I was gonna do light grinding. I want to unlock some new abilities. Not only cheated the game, you cheated yourself. For you, Miyamoto, you can't tell me what to do with my life. Wait, why? Why, why does that deal with me? It's the message Miyamoto? that would play whenever you stole an item in uh, in Link's Awakening. Oh. It was kind of like light shaming for. Well, no, it wasn't light shaming. It was aggressive, mm -hmm. upfront shaming for being a thief. Mm hmm. But it's like, I, at this point, I am suffused with pride and accomplishment for my gaming abilities over the, over many, many years. And that, you know what, when it comes, when it boils down to it, most games, eh. If, if it's something like Opus Magnum or Factorio, well, no, even with Factorio, I absolutely start just skipping ahead a little bit. Because, like, when it comes down to it, I don't know. Unless it's particularly novel, stuff like this, a hey, force punch. Wait, that has the fist. Does that mean that she'll be able to open those doors now? We might be able to. That'd be cool. We're not going to see the hat? Or you're going to I wanted to get everybody to level 9. Because level 9 is when they get all their, uh, when they all get their new ability. Oh, mm-hmm. I figure if we're going to be fighting a boss, we might as well have some new toys. I suppose we have it in one of those discussions that we've prepared. Yeah. When it comes to things that prevent us from finishing games, one of them is just... Slog. Well... And I wouldn't feel like this is slog. Or grinding, but... or... Yeah. Ultimately, it's just in a lot of games, ba the game gets in in, like, the way of itself. Uh, we've been playing 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim off stream, off camera even. I'm not recording it. It's because the majority of it is just conversation and it's all voice acted, so we wouldn't even have a hand in it. Or a voice 
in it, <laughs> I should say. So it's one of those things where it's a nice game to sit back and watch, but you're not really playing it, mm. per se. Oh, it's it's actually uh, Copy Pasta Rando on Twitter responding to PC gaming after they tweeted that they beat Sekiro's final boss and felt fine. Oh, probably with cheats or something. Hmm. You know what? Why I, is Sekiro's final boss supposed well, to be possible? Well, I mean, possible? Sekiro is hard. Mm. It's meant to be hard. Learn a new spell, soothing. Okay. Two more ball and chain groups. Mm-hmm. Maybe three if I'm doing my math wrong. I just... I remember Schlorp. Fun game, that. I mean, could have been an old MS-DOS weird platformer. Schlorp. <sighs> but I just... I don't know. Well, it is like what we discussed before about how with Pokemon, it often felt like, you know, you select an attack, you select an attack, your opponent goes down. It just becomes a slog. Yeah. It, it, it also depended on what you were facing. If it was just Pokemon in the wild that you had no interest in catching, but you did have an interest in defeating exclusively for XP, then that was what it is. I, I know a lot of people hated the Let's Go games because of that, but like, you made it so much nicer. Oh, this is, this hat is the camp. hat stall. And there's the hat. Safina's hat right back there. Well, this is new. What's with all the hats? There! That one's Safina's. Rock, Merit, I d d don't like this. Yeah, this hat shop is super weird. Does, I'm wondering though if all of these hats are from people that are missing. Or something else? Maybe. It could be. A lot of these are hats that we've already found. Let's just grab it and go before she gets back. So it's actually a girl. It's actually a lady? I see you found my friends. Oh. <laughs> oh. Three of you. And not a single hat. Wow, rude. Give me back that hat. It's not yours. Ah, it was on the ground, so... Mine. It's not. It belongs to my sister. Sister? I don't see her. Well, we're trying to find her, but we need her hat to do so. Sure, you can have it. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, well, uh, okay, then... Rim shot. Uh, 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 Merit. Fleur, what happened to you? You've never been cruel like this. There is no Fleur, only Black Hat. I'm okay now. The pun hurt more than anything else. I definitely feel it now. You're not nearly as tough as you pretend to be. Huh? We'll fight you for that hat. You, uh... Chapeau-foe. Chapeau? Really? That's how yeah. you say it? Chapeau-foe. Uh... Uh... Embarrassing. 
Fine. You want it? Let's see if you can take it from me and my friends. Are all the hats going to come to life and attack them? All right. Cough up my sister's hat. <laughs> oh, you brought your friends to this party. So let's get them some party hats. Uh, Seth? That's not her. It's a fetch, a shallow clone created from magic. Beautiful, no? Hmm, who else should we invite? <gasps> With its deep blue dye, this worldly beauty from a traveling cleric. And this vintage school cap from a child who studied too hard. Let's party till you drop. Alright, new move. Screaming demon, effective against other humans. Interesting. Uh, but are they human? Or are they just meant to appear like humans? Black cat's human. Ah. Uh, Generally, what I go for first is robbing people. Ah, restore the HP of multiple targets, but still not herself. Mm -hmm. I guess she's supposed to use items on herself. When it comes to the classical color triumvirate, which one was your old favorite? What do you mean? You know... Red, yellow, blue? Well, no, no, I was thinking green, red, blue. Because I noticed that those tend to be the favored colors. Even though the primary colors are traditionally red, yellow, blue, green mm. is usually switched out for yellow. Or yeah, replaces yellow. I feel like yellow is less versatile. Mm-hmm. Well, yellow and orange consistently land at the bottom of statistic... Well, lists when people are polled about favorite colors. I just just like the fact that they never include purple. I love purple. Wait, what? Why can we only scream it? That's confusing. But RGB is light trio. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Because there's, and then there's also oh. CYMK, which is for printing, which is the cyan, magenta, yellow. So. Dang, that was effective. Yeah, that's okay. why when you have cyan, magenta, yellow, and red, green, blue, it's subtractive and additive colors, as I recall. Though, I think the additive is RGB and the sub. Wait a minute. Am I mixing them up? No, because CYMK is the pigment. So those were the ones that are, those are the ones that overlap to create new colors, except, wait a minute. RGB, those are the ones where uh, it's specifically if you overlap green with red, it creates yellow. And if you do red and blue, it creates sort of the magenta purple. And then green, blue, you get cyan, which is sort of like a turquoisey, tealy green, blue in between. So that's how you get all those colors. And then, you know, mix those three colors together and you get white. Whereas with CYMK, you mix those colors together and you get black. Of course, you have other color systems where you have a, a whole wheel. 
where you have varying degrees of analogous colors in between. Okay. Well, I can control it again now. Okay. Was so we're good. Yeah, I just had to... I don't know. The controller just decided it wasn't interested anymore. Oh, that's the scream. Fun. Yep. I've been using it this entire fight. It's actually real good. Let's see. What's the range on Force Punch? Oh, pretty good, actually. I think of the three, you are probably a blue person, aren't you? Uh, yeah, probably. I like blue because it's kind of nicely versatile, because you can start edging into the teals or the purples. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I suppose for me, it depends on what the triumvirate's affiliated with. Because I always like greens for, say, nature mm -hmm. and such. But, oh. Floppy hat. Black hat is gone. I guess you could say she went on ahead. But um, tsh. Nope. We're done here. Yeah, you're really tough, Merit. Or Merit. Sorry. I, I, I always feel tempted to say Marie, but yeah. it's Merit, I suppose. Probably. And so are you. Both of you. I think we work together pretty well. It's not this fun when it's with Saf. It's different. Hmm. Why was she a taskmaster? And I've realized so are you. You look similar to Saf, and you're outgoing like she is. But you're your own person. I'm sorry Saf didn't tell us about you. We d didn't know. We, we we still want to help you re rescue her. If you're okay with that. Thank you both. I'd like that. I'm glad that I won't have to do this alone. And when we find her, she and I need to have a long talk. Now, back to the library. If I had a gold coin for every time you said that. Wow. Is that a shortcut? Crazy rich. Okay. I'm getting real tired. I know you want to probably keep going, but we'll do that on Thursday. Oh, okay. I know. We'll get through the door next time with the homunculus spell. Mm-hmm. I'm just tired and my head's starting to hurt. Oh, Not no. like headache style, but like my face. It's weird. Anyway, that was fun. We'll play more. <laughs>